In December, Mr. Christopher Monckton, who is a professional liar, he goes around lying about human-caused climate change for money and for political ideology and free market fundamentalism, went to the climate change conference in Doha and disguised himself as an Arab, snuck into the meeting, pretended to be the delegate from Burma, and when the conference president called on the delegate of Burma, well, you should see the reaction of the president after he discovered it wasn't the delegate from Burma, it was a bug-eyed British clown pretending to be the Arab delegate from Burma. Anyhow, we'll roll that film. Fucking hilarious. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, our new council has two small concerns about this process. First, that in the 16 years now that we have been coming to these events, there has been no global warming at all. Of course, that assertion is not only wrong, it is also asinine and absurd and a lie. And I will explain why we know those things, but to continue. And secondly, that even if we were to take action to try to prevent global warming, the cost of that would be many times greater than the cost of taking adaptive measures later. That, of course, is also a lie if you read Working Group 3, uh, Assessment Report Number 4 for the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, will find that in the long run, mitigating human-caused climate change, that is global warming, cost us less and it also saves a hell of a lot of human life, not to mention other species. But to continue... So our recommendation, therefore, is that we should initiate very quickly a review of the science to make sure that we are all on the right track. But we've done that already. It's called the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. They're the ones doing the review of climate change and all of the science. They've done it. Assessment Report 1. They've done Assessment Report 2. They've done Assessment Report 3. They've also done Assessment Report 4. And they're just finishing Assessment Report 5. Five reviews already. And every single one says... Christopher Monckton and his cult is full of shit. And now for the conference president's reaction. It's for parties. Oh. Oh, this is speaker. Sorry, this is the last speaker. Is not a party. He's. Uh, NGOs, or he representative, you know, so it was confused for me because it was written Myanmar for me. So I thought is it's a, but when I look to his face, he's not a Myanmar. So uh, I was correct. So anyway, thank you very much. He looked at his face and said, you don't look Arab. You don't even look Burmese. You look like a bug-eyed British bug. But they're never surprised to find out I'm a stripper. This graph shows 133 years of global average temperature as calculated from a baseline of the average temperature between 1951 and 1980. The calculated data go negative because the average baseline from 1951 to 1980 is higher than the global average in the previous 100 years or so. Since apparently we're only interested in the previous 16 years, I have it marked here in a red box. Please note that year 2012 has not been calculated yet. The data has not been released, so I have not included it. This goes to year 2011. These are the data for the previous 16 years global average temperature from the average 1951 to 1980 baseline. 
A link to the data is in this video's description below. And finally, when we plot the data, it comes as no surprise to anyone that over the past 16 years we have seen a sharp increase in global average temperature. But that's not all. You can take the data and mark the previous 16 years, as I have done here, labeled 1 through 16, and sort the entire data set by global temperature anomaly. You will find that in the past 20 years, the previous 16 are in the highest temperature years. This refutes the assertion that over the past 16 years, there has not been global warming.